truth. A metal cup doesn't know your life. Eat to your heart's content. That don't make no damn sense. Period. I said what I said. Hi guys, it's Kiki Love and Kiki Loves You. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, come on, fuck it, shrimp fish, shrimp fish. So in this video, I wanted to talk about something I saw on Instagram that made me go, uh, I'm gonna go to it on my phone right quick. Oh, uh, y'all gonna delete it? Okay, here it is, great, great. <laughs> Don't they delete it off and say boo. Hopefully get it back up in here somewhere. All right, it says, the first one says, one size says lie, another size says truth. One says lie. Low carb zoodles should be the only noodles you eat. Truth, zoodles are fun and all, but let's be real, they'll never be pasta. Now, let's talk about this. I get what you're saying in a sense. I mean, they're not the only noodle you should be eating. I get that, I agree with that. However, comma, like if you have a target goal, you probably should not be eating noodles. If you have a specific target goal and you shouldn't be eating noodles, then you shouldn't be eating noodles. Zoodles are meant to be used as a replacement to noodles with things such as shrimp scampi, meatballs, or like a pesto type of dish, if you will. Like it's not meant to like be a noodle for you, like to actually taste like a noodle. It's meant to taste like a zoodle because you need veggies and not starch is essentially what, what's going on here. So the next one is lie. You can't have dessert. Um, it's wasted calories. Truth, you're wasting your life. Dessert is delicious AF. Now I agree, dessert is delicious, praise God. I've never heard someone say that dessert is a waste of calories. Like, I feel like everybody knows that dessert is delicious. I've just seen people make alternatives to fit like their macros and whatnot. The next one says, lie, you have to measure your food to prevent from eating too much. Truth, a metal cup doesn't know your life. Eat to your heart's content. Now this one, um, and that's the last one in the slide. So now this one um, kind of brings it home for me. And this kind of covers everything and why I was kind of vague in the first few ones or whatever, because I personally believe that all oh, this is okay in moderation. It's okay for you to have pasta. It's okay for you to have dessert. It's okay for you to have uh, fruit because it was a cup of um, strawberries. It's okay for you to have fruit and all this stuff. It's just about moderation. You can have pasta and be perfectly fine, but you can't eat pasta every day and then wonder why you're not losing weight. You can have dessert and be just fine, but you can't have like dessert every hour or every meal and wonder why you're gaining weight. You can have, you know, as much, as many fruits as you want, but please know that if you're eating more calories than you're burning off, you're not going to lose weight. All of this stuff sounds fine and dandy for somebody who is at like their target goal weight or their target like build or whatever it is and they just need to maintain it's okay to have that stuff in moderation but when you have a goal you have to make sacrifices in certain departments you can't have as much pasta as you want you can't eat dessert as often as you want you can't have as much of anything as you want if you are trying to burn off calories if you're trying to lose weight you need to measure your food because you need to know how many calories you are taking in so that you can then work adequately enough to get them off it doesn't make sense yes some people don't need to measure food but those people have been measuring food for a certain amount of time and they now know what it looks like. I got to that point and I can still get to that point. I'm still that way about certain things. I don't have to measure every single thing I eat to know how many calories are going in. I can look at a tablespoon of honey and know it's a tablespoon of honey because I've been measuring out a tablespoon of honey for I don't know how long. But if you're sitting here eating to your heart is content, let, like let's, no, no. Let's be honest, I'm not gonna talk about nobody else. I'm gonna talk about myself, where I was versus where I am now. Eating to my heart's content got me to 187 pounds, okay? It got me to the point where I was out of breath going up and down stairs, okay? It got me to the point where I went to the doctor and they told me I weighed 187 pounds and I was like, who you? Who you talking to? Did I need to take off my shoes? Is that, is that, is that doing it? You no, know what? Maybe I need to put down this phone. I feel like it's this phone. I need to strip or something. Like, maybe it's the weave. I gotta take my wig off. It's something. Something's giving me an extra 20 pounds. Like, so telling someone to eat to their heart is content is not helping them if they have a goal. If you like how you look, if you don't have a problem with how you look, if you're not trying to lose weight, all of this is fine and dandy. Eat to your heart's content. If you, if you want to do that, that's fine. But, 
if you have a goal, if you are trying to lose weight, that is not going to help you. Eating all the desserts you want is not going to help you. Not measuring food is not going to help you. You're going to be in a plateau if you eat as much as you want and you exercise according to whatever regimen it is. But the food you eat don't matter because you eat too much of it. You can have too much of something and it works against you. It's counterproductive. It does not make sense. Do not buy into all this stuff that everybody is selling you. Don't fall for all this feel good stuff and be sitting out here looking fluffy and you don't want to be looking fluffy. Now, if you want to be looking fluffy, do what you want to do. But if you try to lose weight, gotta put that crap down. It don't make sense. And I know it's like a, a, a heated, passionate rant a little bit because I looked at the site and I looked at the woman who's over it, um, who's the nutritionist on it or whatever, and she's skinny. I'm not saying that to like throw shade at her or nothing, to throw shots or nothing. But what I am saying is it is okay for you to eat a certain way when you're at a certain point. If you're trying to maintain where you are, then that's fine. But if you're trying to lose weight, you have to make certain sacrifices. It just has to be done. That's why there's like the keto and the paleo and then um, whatever, like in different diets that people go on themselves. And then there's just certain things that people let go of because it makes them feel bad. Like they're not like, oh, I feel like as a person, but like at, on the inside, like my insides feel like crap. Like they let those go. And I understand that sometimes like if you get to a certain point and it's like, oh my gosh, like I feel like I, I look like X, Y, Z. I don't look good. And everybody's like, girl, you look wonderful whatever. And your measurements match what you wanted them to be like a while back. And now you're like, oh, I want to be smaller. And it's just like, if people see you going down, um, you know, a path, they're like, hey, girl, come back, come back. You you going a little far, like, come on back. Like, even your doctor is like, hey, let's, let's rule it a little bit. Like, you're beyond healthy at this point. Maybe you need to, you know, think, rethink about your relationship with food and, like, what you see as, you know, the end of the world and what is okay to have. So maybe you do need to have that conversation. All right, guys, again, I'm sorry. I'm a little rant, a little ranty. Uh, but until next time, guys, now that I am Kiki Love and Kiki Loves You, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.